<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm coming to you a little bit differently today. I'm a little closer to the camera. We're doing the old webcam like it's video back in 2008 kind of deal. Just cuz it's Veda day what 5 6 now. Day 6. We're 6 days into Veda and it's uh, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually stealing this idea for a video from a friend of mine, Peter over at uh, Journeys of Life Vlogs. Make sure you look down below because in the description there's a link to his channel. He does really good stuff. So check him out. Go subscribe to him. Let him know I sent you. Say, Dano sent me over here. He said I should watch you. Really funny dude. Really genuinely nice guy. But I saw that he did this video the other day. And the video is, which Disneyland land are you? It's actually a quiz from Oh My Disney. And I put a link down below to the quiz so you guys can take the quiz yourself. And let me know in the comments which one you are. But for now, let's get on to it. All right, so here we go. Let's do it now. Okay, so this quiz on Oh My Disney starts off, so walking into any of the lands in Disneyland is like being transported to a whole new world. One minute you can be in the future, the next you're in a lost civilization. Everyone has a land that they naturally gravitate to. It could be that it has your favorite ride or snack, or it's just your favorite place to sit and people watch. We thought about it and realized that each of the lands at Disneyland can tell you something about a person's personality. It might be your favorite, or one you never expected. But here's our non-scientific way of figuring out which Disneyland land you are. All right, question number one. What's the first thing you do when you get to Disneyland? So here are the options. Go straight to my favorite attraction, buy a souvenir, visit the bakery, fast pass, take a picture in front of the castle, listen to the Dapper Dance, get something to eat, take a picture with my favorite character. Usually, if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, it is take a picture in front of the castle, and I'll use the word home because it's just it's what I do. But there's got to be a castle in there somewhere, so you guys know where I'm at. So that's definitely going to be my number one. All right, number two. Oh, look at those pretzels. What is your favorite Disneyland snack? This is tough. Caramel apple, turkey leg, beignets. I call them baked nuts because it's literally how it's spelled. Mickey ice cream bar, Dole Whip, pretzel, churro, or popcorn. I do love the popcorn. Like, I don't eat a whole lot of popcorn normally, but I love their popcorn. Churros are kind of my jam. Uh, let's see here. I don't always get Mickey ice cream bars. I love them. Turkey leg's more of a meal to me than it is a snack. We'll get a turkey leg and a chimichanga. You kind of split them and the whole family eats them. It's delicious. Uh, I'm going to go Dole Whip. It's got to be Dole Whip. Favorite snack. I mean, I have my own machine that I make Dole Whip out of here at home. I wanted it that bad, so Dole Whip it is. Pick a pair of Mickey ears. R2-D2 classic. Minnie Mouse, Cinderella, Duffy, Woody, Jack Skellington, Lion King. I didn't know they had just Lion King ears. But I'd say either classic, because I'm old school like that, or Lion King. I'm going to say classic. i got to go classic. What's your favorite Disney song? That's kind of tough out of only eight options. Akuna Matata, Part of Your World from Little Mermaid, Almost There from Princess and the Frog, I've Got a Dream from Tangled, Married Life from Up, Strangers Like Me from Tarzan, Little April Shower from Bambi, and Whistle Stop from Robin Hood. I don't recognize Whistle Stop at all from Robin Hood. I I love that movie, and it's been a little while since I've seen it, but I don't recognize that at all. Part of Your World's really good. I'm going to pass on that one. Princess and the Frog I've honestly only seen like three times. I know, take away my Disney cred, but I didn't really watch it either time. It was always just on. I just couldn't get into it. Same with Tangled. I've... You guys are going to just destroy me, but um, I've actually only like really seen Tangled once, and it's not like all the other Disney movies I watched a billion times. Tangled, just not so much. And I do want to watch it again. I actually want to sit down and dive into it because there's a lot to it that I know I'll like if I really, really sit there and pay attention. It's just hard to find time to pay attention. Uh, Bambi, I don't remember that song. I do like Bambi, though. Strangers Like Me from Tarzan. It's Phil Collins. I do like Phil Collins, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no on that one. And Married Life from Up, I didn't even know that it was a song. I'm going to go Hakuna Matata because it's Lion King. That's Lion King. Come on. Lion King. I'm just, that's my like movie. All right. Number five, how would your friends describe you? This is easy, funny, I hope. Guys, guys, huh, no? Too bad, that's what I'm picking. So number six, which Disney character would you want to be? Your BFF, your best friend forever. Simba, Pocahontas, Carl, Winnie the Pooh, Tiana, Wally, Mickey Mouse, Rapunzel. Best friend forever. I, uh, I gotta go to Mickey Mouse. He's, he's, he's Mickey, come on. Alright, which city would you like to visit? Sydney, Paris, New York, Tokyo, Toronto, London, Rio de Janeiro, 
and Rome. This is okay. I'm gonna say Tokyo. Out of all the, I've been to New York and it's cool and I do want to go back. Actually, I might go back hopefully soon. Paris would be nice too. They also have a Disney park. Mm -hmm. But so does Tokyo. And Tokyo's got weird, crazy, futuristic lights and stuff. I'm gonna go with Tokyo. I have to go to Tokyo. The other ones, you know, seem cool. London would be pretty cool actually. Toronto, I'd have not much of an interest in going there. Rio de Janeiro would be all right. Um, yeah, but definitely Tokyo. Tokyo, I think, would be the most different and most interesting. Um, pick a Pixar movie. Ratatouille, Brave, Toy Story, Cars, Finding Nemo, Bugs Life, Incredibles, Monsters, Inc. Ugh, it's, mm, Cars and Toy Story are some of my favorites. I do like the others. I do. I, Toy Story. Got it. I mean, look at all the toys I got up here. My dream job would be, when I was little, it definitely would have been a zookeeper. Um, this is going to throw you guys off, actually. An artist, a comedian, children's book author, world traveler, an architect, restaurant owner, an astronaut. What do you guys think it is? Which, which one do you think? It's not actually this one. It's actually this one. You guys are like, wait, you're not funny. Thanks. All right, pick a cute animal. Oh, that's... What does this have to do with any of the lands? Hmm, hmm, um, well, is that a hedgehog, a puppy, a mouse, a cat, fox, a rabbit, an owl, I'm gonna, I gotta go with the elephant, he's so weird looking, um, and, and look, there's Dumbo up there, so yeah, elephant, elephant wins, I got Mickey's Toontown, I'm, I'm not surprised with that, I figured it'd either be Mickey's Toontown or Adventureland, personally, I would have thought Adventureland, just cause, that's like my favorite, but let's read it real quick, you're a bit of a jokester and never pass up an opportunity for a good pun. Okay. <laughs> they must have seen the channel. Everyone always appreciates your humor and your positivity can put a smile on anyone's face. That's pretty awesome. So I got Toontown. Guys, I want to know what you guys got. Take the quiz. The link is down there. Take the quiz. Hope you guys like watching today's VEDA video. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with another one. Maybe something Disney. Maybe something artsy. Who knows? Maybe... Did you guys ever notice that this Paint the Night paintbrush right here, this brush, is actually that that brush with the old school Disney Channel logo, but it says Dana. Yeah, now you know. Knowing's half the battle. Goodbye.